Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or maybe one of your person's other signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Alright, and for those of you who have been following me, um, I've temporarily set up the camera in a different position. But do let me know if you prefer this, this angle. All right. So let's see. What are the major themes for Taurus for the second half of March? All right. So we have stuck, we have surrender, and we have understanding. All right. So somebody is really um, surrendering to the fact that they feel stuck. In a situation and it could be that they're surrendering to the fact that they feel stuck with their counterpart or with with you for example if it's the other person or it could be that they are stuck in a different type of a situation which is keeping them from um, connecting with you okay it could go either way we'll see more when we get into the tarot so let's see what is going on either way I do think that this is something positive because there is understanding that comes with this and there is surrender. All right, so I always see surrendering as, as a positive aspect in any situation. Surrendering to, to what is, realizing that certain things cannot be controlled and surrendering to your own intuition. This is how I'm seeing this. Um, regardless of there being a stuck energy. It's like the opposite of resistance, in other words. your situation we have the four of cups crossed by the two of swords okay so here it is it's a little bit of a stuckness with this two of swords this is the challenge here somebody is stuck in a situation that they're not feeling very um, happy in okay so it could it doesn't have to be your person it could be you you would know um, but somebody is feeling either possibly ignored by the other person and they don't know what to do about it but it gives me more a sense of settling for something where there is dissatisfaction and almost like a depressed kind of an energy which is debilitating this person from being able to actually take some action it's, it's exactly that it's like feeling stuck in a situation that that they're not happy in and it could even be that this isn't in, in their own mind all right, um, it could be anything. So let's see, for the recent past, we have the Hermit, and in the near future, we have the Page of Cups. All right, so there was, there's been a bit of a distance between the two of you. Um, for some of you, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, it doesn't have to be, but I do see that there has been um, possibly a lot of thinking and a lot of withdrawal and going within in the recent past from one of you we'll see more when we clarify but with this page of cups being in the near future i do see some kind of a communication coming up or like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or opening up of the emotions or maybe just even opening up to the the possibility of love within the connection so let's see for your energy we have the ace of pentacles for them we have the five of cups uh, deeper look into you, we have the King of Pentacles, for then the Seven of Cups, and potential outcome, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like you, you're, you're trying to be very practical um, at the moment. You're, you're thinking a lot about what potential there is in this in this connection again i still don't know if if this issue here that i talked about as the as the main situation I, i'm not sure if this is you or your person yet um but i do see you trying to take a practical a practical approach and it does feel like you are um standing strong in your element as this king of pentacles here as well where you you're looking for stability 
And I feel like this is like the what's on the forefront of your mind right now is looking for stability and trying to find where is it that you can have that. And is there a potential here for that? Um, your person... Your person has the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups, so there is a lot of grief um, that they're undergoing. So it could be that it was you that has um, pulled away. could be them, and then them still being in this um, energy of feeling sorrow, feeling a loss, thinking about the past, possibly maybe um, holding on to a little bit of guilt, we'll see. Um, and I feel like they're they're a little bit confused as to what is going on or as to what they want to do. Um, the potential outcome, though, it does look it does look pretty promising with the page of wands. You have two pages for the future energies here, right? The page of cups here for the um, near future, and then the page of wands for the potential outcome. So I do see there being some kind of an interest or at least some kind of a motivation or a drive to get things moving, to get out of this stuck energy and to move towards possibly a, um, a coming together here or to resolve whatever this issue is. So let's start clarifying and figure this out. Let's clarify the, the Four of Cups with the Two of Swords. All right, interesting. The King of Pentacles again and the Page of Wands again. Okay, so yeah, there's. I feel like what you you want this stability, right? You want this um, commitment. You want it to be secure. You want it to be stable. It's like you're you're open to that or you're you're feeling a drive for that. But again, it feels like you're not sure if you can have that or you're not sure where you can have that or if this potential is can be found in this in this connection for some reason. Um it's almost as if who, or whoever this is, right? It's definitely you that's looking for that stability. But either the other person is feeling too depressed to even um, acknowledge that. Or you are having a hard time seeing if you can have this in this connection. It almost feels like there's a... It could even be you blocking this from your own self um, in some way, almost like you're seeing the, like, like I feel like you're seeing the, the glass half empty rather than half full, almost like, like having these, these doubts. And it could be that, you know, that is the case in this connection with this person. We'll see. But I'm really getting here that this is, I feel like it's your energy being a little bit um, blocked off to having that commitment. So it could be that you are not, I don't know, you're not sure if this, if this, if this is really what you want. Or maybe you want this commitment, but you're not sure if this is the right person. Let me see this hermit in the recent past. Let's see, what has happened here? The Magician and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you... Because I, I, again, I just feel like this is you, but of course feel free to reverse the roles. I feel like you have gone within, you have withdrawn yourself because you're trying to manifest something that you want because you felt like you couldn't find it in this in this connection here. So that caused you to to just really pull away and I almost feel like like you like you've gone quiet. Hoping that in this way you might be able to manifest something that you want. And I I feel like it, there's a part of you that still wants this. I mean it could even be that you 
maybe felt like <clears throat> if you if you pulled away, if you went within, that this might actually help you to um, to find this stability, or that in some way that would manifest the stability in your life or in the connection. So let's see, um, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles for your energy. The Page of Swords, the Six of Swords, give me one sec. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, so again, it feels like you're the one who, who pulled away here. <clears throat> I feel like this is just confirmation of what I was picking up on. It's like, I feel like you have pulled away, you have moved away from this connection, hoping to find some peace. Um, but it's been very painful for you. I, I feel like you thought it was going to be easier than what it actually is, than what it actually turned out to be. And you still have this like idea in your mind of maybe this can work but it's like you don't really believe it let me see the king of pentacles the tower the three of wands and then the top one wanted to flip over which is the five of swords yeah, so I do feel like you're finding this sense of stability within yourself, like you're feeling more secure within yourself. However, that doesn't come with, um, again, it doesn't feel like it's coming with that much pleasure for some reason. It's very strange the way it's coming through. It's like, yeah, okay, I, I want stability. I can find stability within myself. I am feeling more secure within my own self, not having to be dependent on someone else. But at the same time, this is causing me to have a bit of a um, of a moment here, almost like it's you feel like it's destroying some kind of hope that you possibly had in the past about this, and it's like trying to adjust adjust to to this new belief that you are holding on to, which on the one hand is serving you, and then on the other hand, it's difficult to adjust to that because. You feel like something you were ho holding on to or, or wanting in the past, like that just, you feel like it's it's just impossible. But it's like you're, you're still waiting. Like I said before, I, there's still a little bit of that, hmm, okay, just maybe can this, can this work? But at the same time, you're very distrustful of this, of this connection, of this person. Um... Let's see what's going on with them. So let me see this this five of cups because I see them being very sad and confused right now. Let's see five of cups. All right, the ace of cups, the eight of wands, and the eight of cups. All right, well, this person does have a lot of love for you here, okay, with this Ace of Cups. I actually feel like, okay, with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups, this is like two um, opposing energies here. There's a lot of, again, a lot of love. This person definitely wants this connection with you. Um, I, I'm even getting there feeling very lonely at the moment. They have this urge to come towards you, but for some reason they don't. Um, it's like they're trying to emotionally detach themselves from you in a way. I feel like it is to protect themselves because they don't know what you're doing and they don't know what you're going to do or if you want this or if you don't want this or... And so for that reason, you know, they're feeling very sad and they feel like they have no other option but to try to detach from you even though what they actually want to do is um, to come charging towards you. Again, the roles can be reversed, okay? Let me see the Seven of Cups. All 
It could even be that they're the ones um, seeing things pessimistically and for that reason not coming forward and um, keeping to themselves. Alright, so clarifying the Seven of Cups, we have the Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, this, I mean, how much more confirmation do we need? This, this person wants this with you. I feel like it's you that's not sure. Um, and it could be because, you know, maybe they've done something. I'm not saying they haven't. Uh, it's not really showing up here. Um, I'm just seeing what they're currently feeling. I'm seeing them wanting a reconciliation with you with the Six of Cups, wanting to come forward. But again, there's this confusion. This is clouded. And so I feel like that's why they're not, they're not taking any action. And um, they're feeling very unhappy. So this could definitely be, this could also be their energy as well here. I mean, I actually feel like you're both unhappy. You both don't really know what to do. I feel like you both want this want this commitment, but something has happened here which has um, caused you to to withdraw from the connection. Because you, again, it comes through as you not not being sure if I mean, even if this person does want commitment, you're not sure if you can exactly find that what you're looking for. In this connection. So let's see what is coming up. Let me see the page of cups. Judgment and the Hierophant. Wow. I feel like, uh, and here's you, um, I feel like there's going to be a very um, deep conversation coming up. And I'm getting here that, you know, it will be to your highest good to be honest. To be honest about what it is that you truly want. Be honest about your feelings. Even if you don't know what you want, be honest about that. You know, it's, it's okay to say, I don't know what I want. This is how I feel. I'm feeling this, this, and this. I feel like it. Um, it's mostly you that is in this stuck energy where you really don't know what to do about this connection. Like on the one hand, you have that part of you that wants it. You feel like it is a strong connection. Um, but on the other hand, there's just something here that's throwing you off and keeping you a little bit stuck. But it's like you're surrendering to the fact that you feel stuck somehow. Um, with this person and that's not a bad thing. I mean if you want to detach you can the first step would actually be to admit and surrender to the fact that you feel stuck in this Although I'm mostly getting that you just feel stuck when it comes to how to go about Resolving something here or figuring out your own self having some kind of an understanding of what it is that you want and if you can find that in this relationship so let me see the page of wands for the potential outcome here. All right, we have the seven of swords, sorry, the seven of wands, the seven of wands, the five of cups again, which was in your person's energy and the two of swords again, which was also here in the, in the main energies. So there's that drive, there's that desire. It's like, I feel like the both of you want, um, you want each other, I, but I feel like again, like there's a block here. And I do, I do sense that it's on your, that it's on your side and that, and that you are the one um, trying to make a decision here. It almost feels like you're in you you're mirroring this person with that five of cups, like allowing yourself to stay in in some kind of a depressed state, where you're seeing the glass half empty again, and that keeps you from being able to you know at least try to see, figure out if this is workable or not. It, it feels like, you know, the more you, you deny it or the more you try to just avoid it and block it out, that's just going to keep you in the same energy that you're in right now. That desire is there. 
it's all about actually, you know, just letting your guard down and having that conversation. I feel like that's basically the, th the um, issue here. And this is like, you know, just something to be, to be mindful of that, you know, if you hold back, it's just not going to help to resolve things because then the other person won't understand where you're coming from. You, you're not going to understand where they're coming from and then you can't really figure things out. So just all I'm saying, if this resonates with you, all right, and if it doesn't, it's not your reading. But if it does resonate with you, all I'm saying is to be open to being honest and having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation so that you can see, you know, if this is, if you can find what you want in this connection or not. All right, Taurus. So... Let's see the final message for you, if this was resonating, and please do give me a like if it did. Let's see the final message for Taurus. All right, and we have speak the language of love. <laughs> Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Is this not what I was saying? Have an open heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Just speak from your heart. All right, speak the language of love, whatever that is, even if it's, you know, um, that you're angry with this person, let them know. So those were your messages, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.